I look up the photographer on here. I can then look at other examples of their work. Jen is talking about the photo website called Dead Fred, where people can upload old genealogy photos and you can search them. And importantly, this particular site lets you search for the photographer. So this gives you an additional way to identify an unidentified genealogy person by using the search field here, or as I'm gonna show you, there's another method as well. But let me show you a real example of how this is used in practice. So we don't know who this guy is. This was inherited photograph. Uh, it came to me via my first cousin once removed who inherited it from his kind of adoptive aunt who was uh, single. And basically this photo was in her collection. We don't know who it is. We don't recognize it as being someone in her family. And the only piece of information we have other than the appearance of the person and the clothes that they're wearing is we have a information about the photographer. And I don't know if you can see this, but it says HR Houston, Watertown, New York. So let's take that information and see if we can dig up any more details on Dead Fred. So it's easy enough to search Dead Fred. It's a free service. You could just use the search engine on Dead Fred and enter the name of the photographer as I did here. But one thing I've discovered is actually there's other hidden entries in the photography area because whoever uploaded the other photos from the same studio, they misspelled the name. So this is spelled H-U-E-S-T-E-D. I discovered if you actually click on the right side, photographers, you'll come to a list, alphabetical list of all the photographers that are in the database and it's thousands and thousands of them. And I found uh, two other variations of Houston here. And then I think there's one, one other one that's spelled in another way. So you can click through those. And basically the idea is in addition to being able to look at the other photos that are available on Dead Fred, you can get clues from those photos that might help you understand when your own unidentified genealogy person, when they lived. So for instance, this particular photo is from one of the Houston en entries. You can see that her outfit looks like it's probably anywhere between like 1885 and 1905, uh, something like that. So based on that, you can say, all right, well, this photographer was operating at that time. Maybe this photograph that I have of this guy Maybe this is from a similar time period or maybe a little bit later. Because originally when I saw this photo, I thought this was in like a 1930 photo. Based on the fact that some of his other entries are obviously much older, I'm thinking this person who was, looks like he was in his 50s or 60s, he was probably, uh, this photo was probably taken in the earlier, earlier than 1930. Like I'm thinking 1910, maybe 1920 or 25, but 1930 or 1940, that seems too late now. So Dead Fred is a wonderful site. Just go to deadfred.com and then you can use the uh, search tools. You can upload photos and you can do other, other tasks there. But many thanks to Jen for unearthing this particular website and also this uh, great tip that she had for uh, searching by photographer to find out more information about an unidentified genealogy person in your own collection.